So, um, I'm happy to announce this year we have over 600 first Lego League teams in the state, 108 first Tech Challenge teams, and 193 first Robotics Competition teams. So let's hear it for all those teams. <laughs> Along with that, the total number of official uh, first competitions here in Minnesota is a staggering 33 competitions. I also want to hear it for those mentors, those coaches, those volunteers, and those event coordinators that put on all those events. Everybody working together truly makes Minnesota a state of robotics. But I would love to see the team grow with even more states. Uh, not every student in the state has access to run all of their school and career to a first team. What does that mean? They might not have access to first Lego League in their elementary school, or they might not have access to first Tech Challenge in their middle school, and they might not have first robotics competition in their high school. And we need your guys' help to start those teams, whether it be an elementary school in your area, or a middle school in your area, or maybe a high school in the city next door. And it really comes from the teams. Uh, you guys need to start that for outreach, and we love to see more teams in the state. I know, uh, I'll admit it isn't always easy to start teams and to mentor more teams and spend more time, but uh, I want to give a little bit of a quote from our late president, John F. Kennedy. Uh, we, and it, it has to do with going to the moon, he gave it in the 60s, I believe. Uh, it's a really good speech if you guys ever get the chance to read the whole speech, but uh, this is my favorite quote from him. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills, because that challenge is one we are willing to accept. That quote defines us as first students, mentors, and volunteers. We don't do this because it's easy. We do this because it's hard, and it's right, and it's something good for America. So thank you guys for doing that. And you know, kind of on the subject of, of difficulty, um, we do have a new team this year called Snow Problem. Uh, there are robot three, robot three Days team here competing in Minnesota, so I'd like to bring uh, the Robot Three Days team Snow Problem out. Come on out, guys. Let's give them a round of applause. So these guys will be building a robot over the next three years that could compete in this year's competition. Or three years. <laughs> three days. And uh, they're going to have a lot of fun doing it, I'm sure. It's going to be a lot of work. We're going to lose a lot of sleep. But we're doing that for you guys. Um, make sure you check out their website at snowproblem.org. What we're going to be doing is we'll be posting resources, whether it be robot or non-robot related, for you guys to use and better your team and your community. So uh, I'd like to leave everybody with a few words before we get set up for the live stream here shortly. Uh, remember to be inspired this year. Uh, inspiration is, you know, what first is. We want you guys to be inspired. So if someone brings you down, stand back up. Shake it off. If you're all base and no trouble, try a little trouble sometimes. <laughs> it won't hurt, I promise. Uh, finally, let your passions guide you and let inspiration define you or define your actions. So thank you guys and good luck this year. First, I'd like to tell all POCO teams, anyone participating in GoFirst, post kickoff, we will be meeting in Northrop front lobby area. Look for the people in the GoFirst shirts. Uh, we'll be having lunch at 11.30 to 12, and we should be finishing up around 3, 3.30. Um, the next part, and very important, is how you guys are going to receive your kit of parts. So this is very important, and to make this process go quickly, we want to make sure that do not bring up your full team to receive your kit of parts. I repeat, do not bring up your full team. Um, we can only have so many people back there and we don't want to clutter it up. So for picking up, for receiving your kit of parts, there's two options. The first one is driving up uh, onto Pleasant. To get there, you will take a left out of the parking area, and then take a left at the first street, and then turn left onto Pleasant. The loading docks are in that direction. 
Uh, you will not be driving up to the loading dock area. That is for foot traffic only. So we will have people on the road to help you out. To, the, to do this, bring up some of your representatives to the back door. It'll, it'll be open. And that's where you can receive it. Uh, the next option that we have is uh, being able to walk up after the broadcast. What we like to have you guys do is go out of the auditorium, go down the stairs and around, uh, or you can leave that ex side exit right there and go straight back. That's another option. Again, don't bring up your full team. Uh, you will be receiving it. You will not be going to grab the kit apart yourself. Um, Make sure you bring dollies around, do not bring them through the lobby area. And then the last part of business I have is uh, we have a team who's uh, picking up as a surrogate team. If you could please go to check-in and talk to them, that would be a lot of help. We just need to make sure uh, we know who you are. And if you haven't checked in yet, please check in. Uh, thank you, and I hope we all have a great year of FIRST Robotics.